Uh, welcome to Residents of Evil Will, a, a parody game of the popular RPG of Silent Hill. That's about all I know. Let's go. Gas station pumps. Fresh snow crunched under the girl's feet as she paced nervously. Angry murmurs escaped her lips into the crisp winter air. Today really isn't my day. How did I even make it here without those zombies? I don't know how to fall places where did my brother become a cop out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, you're Claire. Mom told him over and over again to be a city cop. But did he listen? No, of course not. I'm Chris Bluefield. <laughs> oh, I do what I want and I want to hang out with ticks and cows. Uh, he's such an idiot. On top of that, these zombies. I can't believe they're real, it's like a horror movie. At least they haven't taken this area yet. It still seems rather active with people, even though they're a little... peculiar. Luckily I brought my life savings and all of my identification right here in my purse. Everything I own, stored in one spot. Uh, oh, I brought my medical charts with me too. I was supposed to bring these to the doctor. Are you the doctor? Life savings! Who's that? Oh, hello, miss. How are you on this fine day? My name is Ava. Nice to... Ava? Who's Ava? I know most of the Resident Evil characters, but somehow I can't recognize this one. Oh, well. The art style is super fucking cute. I also really like the sprite art on the uh, bottom left. Hello there, sweetie. What are you doing out here? It's really dangerous with all these zombies wandering about. Don't worry, I'm a big girl. I can handle myself. I just, um, your hair is very pretty. She is so adorable and totally not suspicious. I mean, look at the dress. She has such a marvelous fashion she wants sense. Ah, oh, thank you so much. That was very sweet. But are you lost? Do you need help? Don't worry so much, miss. I just wanted to know, uh, how did you get your hair all shiny? It's so pretty. I'm happy someone noticed that I did my hair. I can't tell her my confidential hair secrets though. Uh, okay, so my secret is coconut oil and electrolytes. Don't tell anyone, it'll be our little secret. Idiot! You have such a big mouth, all you had to do was be quiet. But no, you just had to keep talking. Claire's infamous big mouth guided her into precarious situations and on a constant basis. Scratching her head, she mumbles softly to herself. Everything okie dokie. Did I upset you? Ugh. Lost in conversation. With the little girl, Claire educates Ava on all the amazing hair secrets she has. Oh, come on! I wanna know them too. I'm quite fond of beauty stuff. <laughs> For real. <laughs> her expertise on coconut oil is quite excessive please don't tell anyone my secrets okay of course those secrets are so uh, useful okay well useful may be a strong word in this context rushed footsteps approached claire from behind hitting into her looking behind her she notices a girl identical to ava ava i was wondering when you'd arrive I was having the most enthralling conversation with Chelsea over here. Chelsea, meet Ava. She's my less fortunate twin. We do literally everything together even though she ends up screwing up most of plans. It was Claire. Chelsea, it's rude to interrupt someone when they're speaking. Sorry. It's okay, I like Chelsea too. Sorry. Got into a spot of trouble, but I'm fine. Can we get out of here? I'm super tired and hungry. Starting this. Bye for now, Chelsea. I'll be going on a huge spending spree now, thanks to you. Oh, you're buying the secret hair stuff. I can show you exactly what you need. Don't worry, Claire. I'll buy every drop of coconut oil in Trash Panda City. <laughs> trash Panda City. <laughs> uh. Trash Panda City for you. We all have this cash now, so I'll make sure to treat ourselves. Man, by the looks of it, you need some new clouds as well. We'll get something cute. Doodles. Oh, uh, thanks. I would appreciate that. Bye guys, nice to me. The girls grab hands and quickly run off giggling as they pass by Claire. The gold breeze tucks at their golden blonde hair as they disappear into the cluttered streets. And they're gone. Well, they were rather nice, I guess. They left super quick though. Uh, I thought this outfit was cute. It is very cute. Day one, guess the... <laughs> Certain high jinks. <laughs> ah. Oh, we are in control now. Yuck, it smells like death. 
That's what everyone keeps saying about me. Oh, scouting west from residential district. This place is completely swarmed with cybers at the moment. Nice. What's that? Oh, what's this? You obtained green herb. Nice. Calling Chris hasn't worked, he never picks up his damn phone. It's out of gas, I really should have brought a petrol container with me. Was that a cat? This place is giving me the creeps. Wait. Where did where did that cat sound come from? That was definitely a cat. Where's that little verbal hiding? Ah, oh, now this is a mystery I wanna solve. Where's the little shit stain? Nowhere. Not not there. This gas station used to be an old jail. The Thompson family converted it into the only gas station for miles. But I heard the current owner, Carol, left the jail cells in and uses it as a dungeon. What? How do I know that? It's common knowledge! Wait, is, is, is this a dungeon? Oh, I'll explore this dungeon soon. I still have stuff to do here. Oh, who's a good boy? You're a good boy. We're working hard on clearing out the trash band apartments and the local neighborhood. After they're clear, you will be free to go back there. Sick. The legend has it that in the residential district there is this monster girl. She supposedly hangs out in this old shack. Wait, so is this actually a proper fucking RPG? Oh, I'm... There's zombies behind me. This area is very dangerous, miss. Please step back and return to the gas station. Okay, just gonna have a brief look, see everywhere here. If there's some hidden goodies. Uh, locked. Locked, okay. I guess we can explore the gas station. No. Can't go down from here. Let's explore the um, gas station. All out of my favorite wine. This place is storage dump. What's your favorite wine, miss? It's called... It's made with the tears of real water buffaloes. That entire sentence doesn't sound right, but, <laughs> but I hope you find it one day, miss. I'm going to swine. Damn. What a cunt. Oh, sweet costume. It looks so pumpkin-like. This is no more costume, little miss. For I am the king of the jack-o'-lanterns. Sure you are. Okay. They have such a large collection of energy drinks. These will never become popular, though. Hello. Welcome to Trash Bar City. My name is Stacy. Wait. Is is that guy a zombie below me? Look at look at him. Hello. I'm Claire. It's nice to meet you. What is this man doing? Hello. What? What's was that intentional or was that a bug? Hello, how are you? Did you... Never mind. <sighs> the girl digs her face deeper into her magazine as to ignore Claire. Peeking over the counter, she reads her name tag. Peach. Um, uh, my name is Claire and I was looking for my brother. I was hoping maybe you could help. <sighs> I don't think she can hear me. I should speak louder. Hello, can you he- Can you please shut up? If you want, you can be I something and maybe I'll help. Otherwise, for the love of God, go away. That's not very nice. I just wanted some help. It's really important. Buy something and maybe I'll talk to you. Okay, fine. I'll go get a candy bar or something. Would you like me to get you anything, princess? Oh, fuck. Seek burn. Can you get me a gun of fuck off? <laughs> Seek. Whatever. What a massive bitch. I guess I go buy something and maybe she'll help me. Oh, I wonder if this is something I can buy. A 10 pack of Mega Crisp Chocolate Bars. I love these. I just have a couple of them pay for it at the register. Since I took my life savings with me, it shouldn't be a problem. 20 minutes later. What? Shoot, I lost control and ate 30 bars. Claire! The fuck is wrong with you? If each bar is $35.99 and I multiply that by... Th Holy fuck! How expensive were those? What? Eating candy is more expensive than smoking or... Well, I don't know how much drugs cost. Fuck! 1080 on chocolate. Well, 
I guess I'll use my life savings and ask mom for cash later. They're paying for my college tuition and crushing chocolate addiction. They're gonna be so pissed. You need more self-control, Claire. Oh. Okay. You don't talk to me now? Oh, she's cute. So... I ate a couple of the Mega Crisp bars back there. I can see that you left some from your... <laughs> Huh, where? I just did my makeup. Claire, it's on your lips. You're a hot mess, you know that. Okay, seriously, can you get rid of it? Whoa. Paige steps in front of Claire on the tips of her toes. Claire wasn't very tall, but Paige's short stature made her feel like a giant. For heaven's sake, you're a slob. Come here. Uh, uh. That will be 1157.76 point. <laughs> we only take cash and hurry up. I shall charge you for the face wash. She smells so nice. Ask to Claire, hurry up! I have to get back to doing nothing! Oh yeah, um, one second. What? Where's my wallet? Shit. Shit! You don't have any money, do you? No, I brought all my money with me. Where could it have? Likely story with your pretty city girls. Always expecting free stuff. Well, looks like we have a thief. Put your ass behind your back right now. Shit. How did I lose my purse? I had everything in there. I can't ex- Ass behind your back. Now. Okay, jeez, Miss Buzzy. Now let's take you to the back room. We're going to have to work out a way for you to pay us. For you to pay us what you owe. Damn it, if this was a guy, I could probably work my magic. Mom is going to kill me. Oh, our widow Claire is scared. Well, if you put this on, I'll consider being nice. You're a thief, and we don't take kindly to them. Out of her pocket, a brown pair of medical cuffs pokes out. Claire's eyes widen as she realizes that once those were on her wrists, she would be completely helpless. Move it! Let's go, we're closing soon and I have a date with a wine bottle and Cosmo. <coughs> right, Claire applies the cuffs around her slender wrists. Grabbing her captive by the hair, Paige begins to lead her to a couch in the back of the store. Ow, 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 no need to be so rough. Let go of my hair. Uh, fine, I let's go. <laughs> I let go. It was kind of nice pulling someone else's ponytail for once, though. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Great, she's a bitch and a perv. Just my luck. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Your head is really huge compared to the rest of your body. Paige's eyes were filled with mischief as she pulled another set of cuffs out of her pocket. The distinct clatter of metal made the hair on Claire's neck stand up. Is this a joke? If it isn't, I'm in serious trouble. I can pay for it, I swear. Sure you can. I bet pigs can fly too. Why are you pretty girls such a ridiculous liars? It's... Oh, uh, <laughs> fuck! Ah, uh, it's... <laughs> Shit. It's just a couple of tiny little bars. I'm sorry, Paige. Someone stole my wallet, it had everything in it. Please, I'm begging you to just let me go. I don't plan on keeping you, sheesh. ta -ha. I just want to mess with you a little bit. I mean, I mean, you just cost me one, 1,100. <coughs> and with the gas station struggling as is. Uh, okay, but you're not a cop, so you can't keep me here for long. Well, she doesn't seem violent, so this can't be too bad. Just smile and wave, Claire. Smile and wave. Also, a couple of pictures of my cute little captive. It's from my photo book. What the fuck? What? Just let me... Just let me just get that hair out of your... You... You face! You... Anyway. Oopsies. Uh, whoa! Paige! I don't know what kind of education you have, but... That wasn't hair that you pulled. Pulling the camera back, she accidentally gets Claire's tank top caught in her finger. Oh, okay, that ex that explains everything. Removing it before letting out an evil giggle. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Is that really necessary? 
Sorry, I really didn't mean to do that. I mean, like, um... Maybe I did. Just a teeny tiny bit. Like half accident, half on purpose. <laughs> Psychotic little... Ugh. And this couch stinks. It smells like old socks and underwear. So... Like my couch. It's a that... That dirty, but I don't use it that much. I just use it to store my dirty laundry after yoga. I've been trying new things. Holy shit, that must smell like... A literal ass. Ugh. No, it smelled like dirty clothes. With this nose, I could have totally been one of those drug sniffing dogs at the airports. A soft, yet high pitched voice comes down, comes from down the hall. Hoa, uh, hall. The mysterious voice had a graceful accent that you would hear from the sweetest of southern bells. Um, hmm. Watch all that noise. <laughs> Great. Mom heard me. Just call her Carol, okie dokie. Carol stops short after walking into the room. Letting out a gasp, she takes a step back as she begins to blush. Oh dear prince, <laughs> oh fuck. You have a room for a reason. You are almost really as hard as please. Can you not do this type of stuff in public? <laughs> that voice fucking sucks ass. No, it's not what you think. I stole some candy bars and now she's punishing me. Aha! Uh -huh. You admit it, you're dirty little thief! My stupid big mouth. I need to just shut up from now on. Oh dear, oh <laughs> dear. Stealing is a big no no. We work very hard here. If you, <laughs> if you needed food, people would have gladly given it to you. I know, I'm very sorry. I was just really hungry and someone stole all of my stuff. I'll do anything, just let me go, pretty please. How can this day get any worse? Zombies and bondage do not go together. They do. They absolutely do. Trust me. I... I look really concerned. <laughs> That's just an excuse. Mom, we should strip search her. We don't know if she's been bitten. Wait. Did you say strip search? Alright, Claire. I'm just going to remove your pads. It's for everyone's safety players if you're a in. Oh, well. Whoa, whoa, no way. My clothes are staying on, you little beer. No cursing in this house. Yeah, dumb breed. It's Mary the Simpson. I don't see that curse. It's not a lot of light. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> I didn't know I was able to produce these sounds. <laughs> Mom, can you just be quiet? Your voice is really irritating me. Uh, that's no reason to speak to your mom. FYI. I don't remember asking a thief about the moral justifications of cursing in front of their mom. Wait. Never, never mind. I have never stolen a thing in my life. I need to find a way to prove my innocence. Now just get the product of this disease. They're so tired. This is the friends of her. Paige and Carol quickly unzip her pants and dust them to the side. Both the girls run their eyes all over Claire's newly exposed body. Um, oh fuck! Oh my pants! Your friend is very pretty. What? Never seen a girl in her panties before? Not recently, no. I don't go around just sleeping tied up girls. I also don't have terabytes of lisps and burn my lap. Laptop. <laughs> A laptop like some naughty little girls. Uh. Mom, sh shut up. It's okay, so I'm open minded. Plus, you're at this period in front of you. Maybe so so that you're been practicing. <laughs> I, I actually. <laughs> My headphones really block the sound, so I <laughs> I have zero clue what's actually coming out of my mouth. I'm I know I'm gonna regret it so much when I'm editing this. Mom, are you blushing? Gross! That's such a marvelous party. I can't help it. Mom, just uh... poor Carol. She seems so flustered. 
But she's very sweet, unlike her bit of a daughter. Back to the troublemaker. It's not safe outside at night, so you will be staying with us. We know it's not much, but you can rest on this couch. Do I have a choice? As smelly as this couch is. I do find it rather comfy, so uh, thanks, I guess. Good. For uh, now, for the... How long is this scene gonna go on? Mom, give me your pennies! And you're doing my laundry. Oh, that's so sweet. I just did a little yoga workout. And I'm super sweaty. So that's a big relief. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Totally. Nothing evil at all even crossed my mind. Carol steps out of her bright pink panties and hands them to Paige. With a smile on her face, Carol leaves the room humming a jolly tune. Bye, Carol. Nice to meet you. Hello, sir, honey. I'll see you soon. Your mom is so... <laughs> don't, don't, don't finish that sentence, Claire. It's 2021. People are getting cancelled for less than that. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, it's, it's more like... <laughs> Now you're going to be good and quiet for now, while I give you this... Ah, uh, scoop. Now you're going to be good and quiet for now. Uh, am I... I... I don't think I'm having a stroke, that sentence is just really fucking weird. Anyway... Uh, this tastes terrible... What the freak? <laughs> In seven days, the military is going to bomb us. They have cut off all access we have with the outside world. So no one will know a thing. What? They would never do that. They haven't told anyone, but I have a reliable so source. Oh, at the police station. His name is Chris Bluefield. Chris? He escaped the city, luckily, not of his own free will. But at least he got out safe. He contacted mom on a restricted frequency. But it seems the military even blocked that. Oh, thank God he's safe. But she doesn't know I'm his sister, and I can't tell with her mom's sweaty panties in my mouth. During that week, you will work for us, understood? We need to survive the week. We have barely enough supplies to last that time. But Chris always told us about kindness, so I'm offering you what little we have in exchange for your help. <laughs> Good. I'll leave the keys here on the ground. I doubt you're going to wander off, so uh, just be safe, okay? Bye for now. I'm gonna work on some of these new yoga poses. Maybe play some video games and try to scavenge some Doritos up. Enjoy! Wow, it's finally over, <laughs> I hope. Without breaking eye contact, Paige lowers herself to the floor, just by the couch and drops a lonely key. A long key. Taking one last glance at Claire, she bites her lip and walks away. What the fuck? This is so humiliating. But if, but if what she said was true, I need to find a way out. I refuse to die here, I still have so much to do with life. Like patent my hair formula. After an ex ex exhausting hour of struggling and ripping at her binds, she is finally able to roll close to the key that lay muggingly on the floor. Dumb shackles took forever to get off. I even have marks on my arms. I wonder where she got these high quality shackles from. They read Parasol ink on the side. I guess they make medical supplies. Oh. Rubbing her sore wrist, she began. <laughs> she began to take a look around. The sun had already set, and the dim lights and the dim lights struggled to illuminate the office. Looks like it's already night time. Maybe I should take a look around to see what I can find. Yay! To be continued! Bye!